There are certain things in life we know to be true. Gravity makes the apple fall, water runs downhill, stores will have Christmas stuff out way too early, and our planet spins counterclockwise on its journey around the sun. But what if it didn't? For physical reasons of the gravitational variety, our Earth rotates in the same direction as the sun. But what if one day, somehow, it started spinning in the opposite direction? How much different would our lives be? Surely not that much, right? After all, it's just a direction. When we spin a top one way, it flies just as easily as it does the other. And Superman did make the planet spin backwards once in order to turn back time and save Lois Lane. So it can't be that bad, could it? First, and unfortunately, time doesn't work that way. Superman is a fictional character and changing the spin of our world isn't going to turn back time. It's literally just a direction our planet rotates in. Secondly, while our planet spins in even an imaginary point through its center axis, it's most certainly not a toy. Big changes could have big consequences in our daily lives. But would the planet spinning westward instead of east mean the end of our life as we know it? Or would nothing really change for mankind? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out. Hmm. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like and give that subscribe button a whirl. You can ring the notification bell for a chance to be the first one to view new content from our channel. Now let's get this party started. Ignoring the fact that a sudden grinding change in the direction of the Earth's rotation would cause or be caused by global catastrophes unlike any the world has ever seen, the most obvious difference between our Earth and one where the planet spins clockwise are the directions of the rise and fall of the Sun. It's pretty common knowledge that our Sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Every boy and girl scout worth their salt knows that if you're lost, all you have to do is look up at the sky and you can at least point yourself in the right direction. That is, if you were paying attention in the first place. You can even get a sense of the time based on what point the sun has reached in its journey across the sky. But if Earth spun west instead of east, the sun would rise in the west and set in the east. It's a simple, seemingly innocuous difference, but this small change is a gateway to much greater inconsistencies with equally enormous consequences. After all, if the sun rises in the west, the moon will rise in the west too. Quite frankly, our moon is so small in comparison to Earth that it would have no choice but to follow the planet's new rotation. Despite this, the moon does a lot more for Earth than just lighting up the sky at night and terrorizing werewolves. Most notable and perhaps the most known effect it has on our planet is that of its pull on Earth's oceans. To be clear, scientists believe we'd still have a tide and waves without the moon, but they wouldn't be nearly as dramatic. If the Earth and her moon were spinning the opposite way from today, that means that ocean currents are going to be circling backwards too. As a result, the major Atlantic current that's currently responsible for blowing heat around the globe would completely disappear and a new, quite possibly stronger wind would form on the other side of the world. That might not seem like such a big loss when you first think about it. Sure, we lose one current, but we gain another, better one. The Earth still gets heat. How much could ocean currents really change in our daily lives? Oh, not much. Only the weather and climate of the entire planet. <laughs> I used to have this professor in college who loved to say that at some point the climates of Earth would reverse. The north would warm and the south would cool. Deserts would flood while lakes dried up. He was talking about a switch in the magnetic field of our planet, a reversing of the poles if you will, but he wasn't wrong. The climate of our planet is changing and a switch in the direction of our spin would send that process into overdrive. While the ocean currents swamped with one another, the climate on land would go through a similar transformation. Imagine it, you're walking down the streets of Las Vegas, pondering your latest win at the casino, but instead of being surrounded by desert, the state is a lush, wet paradise. While the west coast turns into swampland, the Florida Keys dry up. The Sahara would turn into a tropical rainforest while much of North and South America withered into a vast desert. Some of Europe would be almost unbearably cold in the winter, but much of the rest of the Earth would warm. Overall, the amount of green in the world would increase, with the current 16 million miles of desert we have today shrinking to a mere 12 million. That's 4 million more square miles of new inhabitable space for humanity to occupy. Which is great, because there's a good chance that a lot of us would have to move and we wouldn't be the only ones. There have been five major extinction events on our planet to date. At least that's how many we know about. And if the climates of Earth all sort of switched places, it would wreak havoc on our world's wildlife. Camels in the desert who are so well adapted to survival with what most of us would consider no water would suddenly find themselves drowning in resources. 
At the same time, poison dart frogs in South America would be stuck in dry, barren land and likely either go extinct or face serious declines in their numbers. Any animal without the ability to cross long distances and migrate to their habitat's new location would be left completely unsuited to their new environment. Much of the animal kingdom would die out. Likewise, the plant life on Earth would suffer a similar fate. Before you panic, a lot of our vegetative species are preserved in seed banks across the globe. We could probably repopulate at least the plants we can eat. But fir trees do not flourish in the desert, and palm trees can't grow in the snow. If our Earth begins rotating in the opposite direction, these two tree species will find themselves in dire straits. You might not think of the extinction of plant species as all that big of a deal, but certain animals rely on certain plants to get them through. Some animals are so specialized, especially insects, they simply wouldn't survive if their symbiotic plant partners no longer existed. Bees and other insects who help pollinate our food would also take a huge hit. With their previous habitats shrinking and their numbers already in decline due to a combination of pollution and habitat loss, bees may very well no longer exist in a reverse rotational world. That seriously limits the amounts and types of food we can produce. Anyone who's ever grown vegetables or fruits inside knows that hand pollination takes valuable time and human pollination on a large scale would be a massive undertaking. You might as well cut out most crops. Everything from buckwheat to blueberries relies on outside pollination to finish growing and produce food. The world would be stuck with shortages of cucumbers, peas, brussels sprouts, and apples. Even coffee needs help to grow properly. So we'd be stuck in a rapidly changing world with expensive apples and almost no coffee. That doesn't sound like fun to me. For humanity, this would be a world of displaced people. The current US population at the time of this video is over 320 million and rising. That's a lot of bodies to find new living spaces for and nothing gets people worked into a frenzy like refugees. If the world started spinning in the other direction, we'd be looking at a political catastrophe on a global scale. The homeless would filter into other countries and settle into poorly erected camps with minimal, basic necessities, if that. No one would really know what to do and the American people would largely become a nomadic group or sink back to third world status. That is, those who didn't move on to the west coast. But the exciting part is that our species would find itself with new, unexplored territories to conquer. With more land turning habitable than there's been in millions of years, our swelling population would have a little extra space to breathe before the next baby boom. Of course, that's all relative. Places like Macau, New York, and Hong Kong are so densely populated that spreading out is a foreign concept. For those of us who are forced to go exploring because our old neighborhoods have become nearly or completely uninhabitable, life would become one big adventure. Anyone who tried to stay behind would have to get smart. Solar resistant housing, underground shelters, and gardens, mankind is smart enough to do all of it. We already have buildings tucked into the Earth's natural insulation in the Arctic. But even that would become harder as the groundwater reserves shrink and populations begin to recover. Of course, all of this is theoretical, right? Surely the Earth couldn't actually switch directions. Almost every planet in our solar system rotates the same way as our sun. The key word in that sentence is almost. It's most definitely possible for a planet to switch the direction in which it rotates. In fact, there's evidence to support the theory that Earth actually used to turn clockwise until some major disaster forced it into a counterclockwise spin. For all we know, the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs completely changed the way our planet works even more than we thought. It's even been theorized that the moon was made when a large meteor struck a piece clean off the Earth. Collisions from outer space happen with far more frequency than people realize. Most of them are just so small they burn up in our atmosphere long before they can touch the Earth. With that said, it would be highly unlikely that humanity would survive a disaster of that magnitude. Such a large asteroid would easily be expected to wipe most, if not all, of the life on Earth. Not to mention our sun would be constantly trying to pull us back to the proper direction. That would cause massive earthquakes and a string of volcanic eruptions that leave the entirety of what was left of Earth's inhabitants as refugees. Countries wouldn't exist and we'd be forced to rebuild our societies on a dangerous and quickly changing landscape. It's just not a likely scenario. Even if we did survive or the rotation somehow changed without an earth-shattering catastrophe, life as it is now would be over. Everything from the temperature of the seas to climates and weather would be different. But it can be fun to imagine what would happen in a reverse rotation world. 
If you enjoyed this video, then why not subscribe? Hit that bell icon as well so you're more likely to get notified of our noble answers to your burning questions. Also, if you have any questions you want answered, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. And to keep filling your brain with regal knowledge, check out these videos here. They're magnificent.